What's that all about? A plant making sugar. A plant making sugar? Yes, so it can grow. Oh, so it can grow. Grow in the roots and grow in the stem and grow bigger branches and grow bigger fruit. Where does this happen? In the chloroplast. Where's the chloroplast? In the cell. Where's the cell? In the leaf. Where's the leaf? On the stem. The stem on a plant? The stem on the plant. The leaf on the stem. The cell in the leaf. The chloroplast in the cell. The chloroplast in the cell. The chloroplast, the chloroplast, the chloroplast, the chloroplast. It's a blast! Being a chloroplast. It's a blast! Being a chloroplast. It's a blast! 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 Being, Being a chloroplast. There's not just one of us, you know. Inside each cell, there's many. And when we each do our part, we make enough food for the plant. We need enough oxygen for all of you humans. You can't see us by looking close at the leaf. We're too small. Even if you put special glasses on, you still couldn't see us. We're too small. We're itty bitty. If you got a hand magnifier out and looked closely at a leaf, you'd see the surface and it would look cool. But you still couldn't see us. We're very petite. You'd have to get a high power microscope out and look closely at a thin slice of leaf. And then you'd be able to see chloroplasts in the cell. And if you did, get that microscope out and look at that thin slice of leaf, you'd see rows and rows of cells. And in each cell, you'd see chloroplasts. Happy chloroplasts! Having a blast! Just being a chloroplast. You might say, it's a happening place. Because it's a place where stuff is happening. And it's not just blah, blah, blah stuff. What happened here is important. Hugely important. Vastly important. Gigantically, colossally, overabundantly important. To the plant. And to everything on planet Earth that breathes oxygen. There are many other chloroplasts in the same cell, and they all do what we do, make food for this here plant. Yep, it all happens here in this tiny space. Now, I know that some of you are wondering how, so let us show you. We're fixing to set up a new batch right now anyway. Boys, it's ever a beautiful bright day out. Oh look, here comes some light energy direct from the sun. It sure is dark in here. I wonder what kind of a place this is. Hey, let us go! Gotcha! gotcha. Ha! What's this, this all about? Let's go! Nope, we need you. Now you're working for us. What do you mean? The water will be entering the cell any second now. Water? Where is it coming from? We all entered this leaf about three feet off the ground. There's no water around. The water is coming from the roots of this plant, and some roots reach down pretty deep to find it. Okay, so the water is coming. No, wait, that's not possible. How can water flow up? Gravity doesn't work that way. Well, you see, the water is, is traveling in, in tubes called the xylem. And you're right, normally water doesn't travel up. But in a plant, and even in a tree, the water is kind of sucked up the way soda is sucked up through a straw. It's called transpiration. Here we are, boys and girls. Isn't this more water than we'll need? Yes, but don't fret. The water that's not needed will, will evaporate through the surface of the leaf. So why are we here? There's something to us what to do! Calm down. I need you guys to be patient. We're waiting for one more special guest trip, then we can get this party started. Exactly what kind of party will it be? We didn't bring a present or anything. Will you be serving cake and ice cream? Do we get to wear party hats? No, my friend. It's not that kind of party. It's more like an incredibly important work crew. This plant can't grow without you. Say, we feel a draft all of a sudden. Close the window, pals. Windows in a cell, air can pass right through these cell walls, and that air feeling is just what we need next. 
Well, you don't need all of it, just the carbon dioxide that is in it. Say, misters, keep your paws off us. Don't be afraid, I've been waiting for you. Oh, we've heard of you. What do you want us to do? You're going to make food for this here plant you're inside of. What's this? We rely on energy direct from the sun. These here chloroplasts trapped us when we entered this plant cell. We were watered and mixed with minerals. We were pulled out of the ground by roots and carried up here in the xylem, a tree from the stem. So let me get this straight. The sun entered through the top of the leaf and was trapped by these here chloroplasts. And the water got mixed with minerals and was sucked up by the roots through an up only stem called the xylem. That's, That's right. right. Say, how did you get in here? Well, you might say that we slipped in through the back door. What do, what do you mean? Like the underside of the leaf? Exactly. You see, there are little openings on the underside of the leaf called stomata. A whole lot of air molecules came in with us. The rest of the guys are traveling through the other plant cells in this leaf to see where they can help. Exactly. Now it's time for the water molecules to join hands with the carbon dioxide molecules. The combination should produce food, also known as sugar. Say, if they're combining to make sugar, what do you need us for? You didn't just capture us so that we could just watch, did you? Because we are really very busy. There are lots of dark places to explore and lots of gloomy people that need us to help them cheer up. We need you very badly. In fact, the water and carbon dioxide can't make sugar without you. You are light energy. You will supply the water and carbon dioxide that's needed to make all this happen. <laughs> Cool, now you're talking. We're cool, we're cool. You can't do this without us. And you can't do this without us. Get over yourself and let's get serious. We're ready. Okay, now it's time for the sunlight energy to stand behind the water and carbon dioxide. Ready, set, begin. talked about water leaving a plant through its stomata? Well, cottonwood trees will lose 100 gallons of water every hour during hot desert days. Each year, plants use more carbon in photosynthesis than is mined throughout the world. One million acres of corn can produce enough oxygen in 11 days to supply 10 million people with enough oxygen for a whole year. If there was no more photosynthesis, there would be little food on Earth most organisms would disappear, and in time, there would be no more oxygen in our atmosphere. In 1774, Joseph Priestley first documented the process of photosynthesis. That's 237 years ago. The fossil fuels we use today all have their origins in photosynthesis. 
cult was formed around 370 million years ago when large trees fell into swampland. The trees photosynthesized and made organic matter. Over millions of years, with high temperature and great pressure, the organic matter changed into coal.